Dr. Elizabeth Burns, Chief Medical Officer for Avamir Family of Companies. For more than 25 years, Avamir has safeguarded our deeply held commitment to delivering safe, high-quality, person-centered care. That commitment remains today, despite the highly unpredictable and highly contagious nature of COVID-19. We're anticipating um, on December 10th that uh, the Pfizer vaccine will receive emergency use authorization and uh, potentially on the 17th of December, Moderna will also receive the same approval. The federal government has decided that Group 1A, which are the first people in the distribution pipeline, will be healthcare providers and long-term care facilities all staff in long-term care facilities and the residents that reside there. Now, after the states receive the vaccines, each state will determine who in that category will receive it first. They're currently not mandatory, but we could see a mandate in the future. I think they're concerned about being first, really being considered a guinea pig? Or, you know, was the vaccine rushed? And what are the side effects from the vaccine? And then honestly, I think a lot of people are concerned about whether or not they were represented in the clinical trials. A couple other things that I think are top of mind for most people is how protective is the vaccine and really how long does it last? Do I need to get one, two, three shots over the course of the next um, few months? Do, do I get a shot in another year or two from now? And what is an EUA? What does that really mean? It's important to know you cannot get COVID-19 from getting the vaccination.